All right, today we're going to be breaking into houses. And you come down here to this little taco stand located right here called Steve's Tacos. Now, when breaking into houses, you can only do it at night between 20 o'clock and I think 5 a.m. Something like that. Come in here to the store and you grab a multi pick. The uh, Steve's Tacos is pretty much like the black market of your virtual items so pretty much get anything here these special tacos will like mess you up let's take one real quick special taco um you, you can get armor here you can get keys for handcuffs you can buy handcuffs you can change out your license plate uh the blowtorch here is for breaking in the cars and then repair kit obviously so let me see what this taco does it's going to screw you up for about three minutes. There we go. See you in a couple minutes. It's supposed to be a hallucinogen. The, that's why the camera does this weird thing and you walk. You're supposed to take this and then not know where you are. Lucky for us, we have a mini map. We know exactly where we are. Like I said, I'll see you in a couple minutes, though. Oh, this makes you want to puke. Ooh. Almost over. We're stopping right up here. Yeah, she kind of messes you up for a little bit. I'm gonna grab a. I'm gonna borrow a car real quick. So now that we have our multi pick, yep, yep, yep. I'm going to. Uh, there's about. 100 houses you can break into all over the map. I'm just going to go down here to Grove Street because that's normally where I break into them at. But like I said, you can only do this at night. So you come up to a house. Press F2, take your multi pick, go to use. We start lock picking the house. Uh, more than one person could break into the same house to help uh, to help search faster. There's a low percentage of somebody being here or a dog being in here, or there's a percentage of finding an item. Not during the house. Let's hope. There's someone here too. Be a safe, be a safe. Yes, there's a safe. Awesome. So we're gonna start searching everything. Little table right here. Uh, if you, if all you do is search, you can search, I think, four houses a night. If you search everything, about what the time is. Nothing found here. Gotta be quiet though, we don't wanna wake that guy up. There could be a dog, and the dogs are actually really funny because uh, they, the dogs pull out baseball bats, which is really, really funny. And uh, when you fight these guys, these are no joke. Like, they'll one shot you with a baseball bat, kill you.
We'll search this. We'll break into that safe. The safe has about between like nine and fifteen thousand dollars in it. We're at eighty-nine thousand right now. Anything? I hope we find something. Anything? Don't really matter. I want to find a uh, some jewelry so I can show you what you do with it. That's what our pawn shop is for. When you find jewelry and blow torches and stuff. The nightstand and nothing. Now we're searching under the bed, looking for monsters. So you come over here to the safe. Use your multi-pick again. Uh, use E and F. Turn the knob. Once you hear it click, then you hit H to open it. You have to do it three times. There we go. There's one. One more. Oh. There it is. There we go. We we're at eighty nine about nine thousand dollars roughly. Then right up here there's a jewelry box. Uh, you can search that table that he's laying on, but I want to search it last because he's laying on it. Hey, you rude fuck! Oh no. Guess we can search in peace now. <laughs> and that's kind of on him. Yeah. He, uh, he woke up. <laughs> uh, if there's more than two cops on, this does notify the police. Um, or it's a percentage. It's a 50% chance it'll notify the cops you're breaking into a house. Or robbing a house, you know, it'll, it'll send out a ping to um, the rough location. So it's a risk. I don't think we found anything yet. No. Do you have these jewels though? I can sell these jewels to the pawn shop. I think so, at least. these last two things the fridge and the cabinet and then we'll move on to the next house it wasn't all for nothing though got a uh, got nine thousand dollars out of the safe but I'd say that's a win 
The multi bait cost is 1500. Oh, found a blowtorch and chemicals. Hell yeah, dude. Means we can break into a car now. So I'll move on to the next house. Once again, um, all the floor plans are the same layouts. Um, the multi picks, uh, they will wear down and break over time. Let's see if we can find something, something interesting. Don't wake up! Don't wake up! Don't wake up! No safe in this one though. It kind of sucks. I'm only gonna search one thing, the jewelry. Fucking I have a feeling we're gonna be getting into a gunfight once we leave here. Or chemicals. Oh shit! Damaged. Alright, so we need to work our way to the pawn shop real quick. Right up here in Legion Square. Go we'll run into the pawn shop. Or we'll stumble into the pawn shop. We'll sell, uh... We have one blood torch. We got four jewels, so we'll sell that. We're actually gonna keep our multi pick on us because we'll use it again. I'm damaged. Ugh. Luckily, I have a bandage. Yeah, that is our. Uh, that's how you rob houses and what you do with the findings. Take them to the pawn shop. <laughs> 